playing in a strip, with a, a filler strip. But uh, the thing that what I was doing a minute ago was scratching these sides with a scratch dot and then uh, replicates the old windows that we have in here already. And uh, basically what it is, it's just the same profile that I copied off of one of those mountain bars and made a little scratch dot to it with a blade in it. And then I just take the mountain on the edge here and cut that profile because it's a non-existent color. Uh, with shaper covers and stuff like that, you can't go buy it anymore. It's not something that they sell in the store. And we don't have, a, but maybe three or four windows to actually make. You know, we got a few repairs. So the cost for a cutter like that would be really high. And we just thought to make a scratch though. a little bit, take a little bit off with a table saw, and then, uh, you know, to, so this doesn't take hours and hours. And then you just come back and you detail it. And when it bottoms out, I got it set exactly, when it bottoms out, it gets taken shape. It's almost like almost absolutely identical to the original sign. Narrow. They're only five eighths of an inch thick. So this is actually just a direct replacement. It'll fit in here when it's done. Or actually it'll fit over here and then I'll have my uh, nine panes back again. And if I have to cut mortises in it still, see how these all lock together? Like this. So I've got to take this piece and I've got to cut two holes in it, two square holes with a chisel. And then uh, coat my ends to match the profile that's already existing on here. But I'll do that just with a coping saw. And this will fit right in here like this and we'll have a complete window again. So.